Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $119,635.30. In the past year I am up $50,448.64. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $27,415.58. Today was a green day for me. I was up $2,739.24 during the day. After hours, I am up $696.97. So up over $3,000 today. So finally, this is another big milestone. My portfolio is now, if you round up, at 120k. So I'm at $120,000 rounded up. And it's really nice to see my portfolio doing this well this year. Um, I have been seeing a lot of comments, you know, over the past couple of months throughout the year about how my portfolio has not been able to beat the returns of SPY. However, if we look at the re year to date returns now, uh, per percentage wise, 29.73%. So 29.73% average of like 30%. If we look at the returns of SPY year to date, so year to date for SPY, 23.42%. So there's about, you know, over 6% difference between uh, my returns in my portfolio year to date and the returns of SPY year to date. Let's go over my positions. I did add some new ones today. So let's talk about that. For my options, I'm selling SoFi $11 covered calls. These expire November 22nd. My total return, I am down $1,152. I'm selling Amazon $190 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $249. I'm selling Delta Airlines $55 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $8. I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $35. I'm selling Target $145 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $24. I have Verizon $35-$33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $1,503. I have Verizon $47-$49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $450. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return $3,961. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $189.36. My average cost, oh, interesting. It shows it is blank. I wonder why. Let me try to go back to it again, see if it. Shows it correctly. So, no, it's still not showing up. That's weird. Um, I mean, it shows that I have 300 shares, but it doesn't show the average cost that I bought them at. Okay. Um, if, if we look at my history, let me show you guys. Maybe we can look down here. Here we go. Yeah, if we look at this limit buy, Amazon limit buy, 300 shares at $188.27. So $188.27 is my uh, price that I bought these 300 shares at. I don't know why it's not showing up. Robinhood is messed up sometimes. It doesn't display things correctly. Sometimes it displays like bogus prices. And I've, I've made videos about this in the past showing how Robinhood like sort of glitches out sometimes and doesn't show the right thing. 
yeah, that's really weird. And for some reason, it shows today's return. I'm down $97.03, but it doesn't show my total return, which that doesn't make sense. How, how can I have a return calculated for today, but I don't have a total return from all time? It's weird. Uh, Robinhood is just weird sometimes. Anyways, I guess we'll just skip this uh, position for now, but I bought it at an average cost of 188 and I forgot something since and it's at 189.36 right now. So I'm up a little bit um, from my shares because it went up a little bit after I bought it. Um, I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $10.67. My average cost. $5.70. My total return, $31,818.05. I have 200 shares of Target. Target is at $149.50. My average cost, $149.41. My total return, $17.50. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $54.98. My average cost, $54.86. My total return, $50. This is a margin account. My margin total is $104,461.35. My margin used is $61,103.90. My options collateral is $10,000. This leaves me with $33,357.45 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $57,118.74. This is how much more money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $2.06. This might go up soon, I think. Robinhood is still in the process of like, you know, calculating things and some things aren't showing up. So I'm pretty sure I'm paying more than interest than just $2 because before when I had my other positions, I was paying like $12 um, in daily interest. So I highly doubt I'm only paying $2.06 of daily interest now. So this number might need updating. We'll see tomorrow. We'll things will probably update tomorrow. We'll probably get more accurate numbers for my average cost and daily interest and whatnot. But for now, it's showing $2.06. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So things have been going very well. I said in previous videos that I would have been happy making at least $20,000 this year. And I'm at $27,000 profit. Um, so I'm very happy with the performance of my portfolio this year so far. Things were rocky at first, but man, ever since the drop in August, it dropped hard in August and then it's been going up a lot from there. Um, there's still about two months left in the year, right? It's still October, so we still have November and December to go. Um, so we'll see what happens in the next two months. But I'm very happy with the performance of my portfolio so far. Some new positions I want to talk about. Um, I think I already talked about my SoFi $11 covered calls. I wanted to keep my shares of SoFi, so I had the $8 covered calls. I rolled it out to the $11 strike price expiring uh, on a later expiration date, November 22nd. So that's why I did in order to keep my shares, because I do want to keep my shares of SoFi. I believe in them long term still, so I want to keep my shares and hold on to my shares of SoFi to see it grow some more. Right now it's at $10.67. I, I think it could go up from here. From $10, it's... I think it could go up from here with the way things have been going. Um, they do report soon. I believe they report on the 29th? Let me check. When is their earnings date? Yeah, there we go. Available October 29th, free market. And the estimated is four cents per share. Let's see what happens. They've been profitable for the past, man, like three quarters now. 
So hopefully they'll they'll be profitable this quarter as well, this upcoming earnings report. Amazon, I chose a strike price of 190. Um, I bought 300 shares, chose a strike price of 190. That's pretty much at the money because it's at 189. So this could go either way. Too close to call, but this expires in December. In fact, all of these expire in December. Now, Delta Airlines, I chose a strike price of 55. Again, it's right at $54.98 very close to call it's at it's pretty much at the money it can go either way there's no telling at this point you know if it's going to be below or above 55 dollars at the expiration date um we'll see what happens from now until december disney 105 so i chose the 105 dollar strike price for these covered calls and right now disney is below 105 it's at 96 and dollar uh, 96 dollars and 80 cents so i could just collect the premium i make from the covered calls and then well i'm calling a covered call because i guess it's covered by the uh, you know my leaps that i bought well that could, that's arguable too anyways it, it's not naked I'm not, I'm not selling naked calls all right it, it is using my disney 70 dollar calls expiring at the end of 2025 as collateral. So I guess in that sense, it's covered calls. Anyways, I'm, I'm getting to. Okay, Disney 105, it's below 105 right now. And this expires at the end of the year in December. It is below 105 now, but two months left to go. Anything could happen. It could go up $10 from here. I, There's no telling, right? It's too early to call. But right now it is below 105 and I'll be happy either way, to be honest with you, if it, even if it stays where it is right now, I think I still come out ahead at the end of the year, just as long as it doesn't like crash really hard. If that happens, then I might end up losing money. But as if it stays where it is right now, if it stays neutral or if it goes up, that's what I would be happy with. Target 145. Now this one I intentionally picked in the money. So Target is at 149 and 50 cents. I intentionally picked a strike price that was below where it is now. So 145, obviously Target is above 145 right now. It's at 149. And I did this intentionally. I just I just wanted to focus on collecting a premium for this position. So I'm okay if target stays where it is right now, if it goes up, if it goes down, as long as it stays above 145. And you know what? If it goes below 145 at expiration, I'm not too scared of, you know, keeping target in my portfolio. It's it's fine if I get them at a price below 145. Um, that's fine with me. So really, it's a win-win situation. We'll see what happens from here, but yeah, intentionally, I decided to do this just to collect the, the premium. I, I'm not really. Yeah, the other ones I, I did it at the money. This one I did it in the money. So I'm more focused on just collecting a premium from uh, my target covered call. Now, something big happened today, and that is this position, my Verizon $47, $49 covered calls. The difference, this made a huge difference today. So today, Verizon. Uh, reported earnings and as you can see there was a huge drop right it was at you know 44 it was like at 43.98 so like around 44 dollars before the earnings and then immediately dropped down to like 41.50 so that's what happened now if you see look at the news here yeah verizon reports q3 revenue miss as smartphone demand slows so bad news coming out. So people didn't like that. It went down. Yeah. So it went down, I think around four or 5% after the earnings, they didn't do so well, but that's kind of good for me because in order for me to get max profit from this position, I want Verizon to stay below $47. So that the fact that it went down today, to like 4160. 
that actually helped me gain some money from this position. As you can see, if we look at uh, today's return, $1,200 from today's return. So I, you know, I gained $1,200 from just this position alone. Because Verizon went down, that increased the value of this position, uh, the return of this position. So, you know, $1,200 gain from uh, the fact that Verizon went down after earnings. And that's probably the biggest difference maker in my portfolio today. The fact that Verizon went down by that much, um, you know, made me gain $1,200 today. So that helped me, you know, gain more money in my portfolio, which is nice. Um, and that's pretty much all I have in terms of updates. I'll keep on more, you know, making more videos to let you guys know what's going on what positions I have, you know, how it's going, um, but that's pretty much it for now. So a lot of my positions expire in December and my SoFi one expires in November, but I'm planning to, you know, roll it out in case SoFi actually does go above 11. If it doesn't, then I just collect my premium, right? But even then I'll probably still keep on doing more covered calls on SoFi and keeping my shares. But yeah, I'll keep on making more updates. There's still, you know, time left in the year for me to gain some more. So I'll keep on making more updates, letting you guys know uh, what the status is of my portfolio. All right, if you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.